How familiar are you with the new updates of UiPath which is 2022.10? Let's figure out in this video. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next quiz on this channel which is quiz number 5 and the topic for today would be UiPath 2022.10 updates. Prior to this quiz, we have already done quizzes on basics of UiPath, Orchestrator, RE Framework and activities. In case you are new and you want to try your knowledge on these topics, feel free to have a look into these quizzes. The link to the quizzes is available in the description. Today, the topic of the quiz is 2022.10 updates. So today in this quiz total you would have 15 questions as an audience you would have 15 seconds to answer each of the questions which is coming on the screen. As soon as the question is displayed you would see this similar kind of line which you are seeing on the screen. This same is a timer of 15 seconds that it is time for you to answer the question. Once the 15 seconds are completed, the correct answer would be automatically highlighted and you would know that what is the correct answer for your question. Now, what would I expect you as an audience, right? So as an audience, you can simply comment down the correct answer or you can simply note down your score at the end and you just comment me what score did you get right and you have to make sure that you do not do any cheating and you let me know the correct score in the comments right also i would appreciate your feedback that how did you like the quiz and what would be the next topic for the quizzes right so having said that all the best for the quiz and let's move to the first question of the quiz which is coming now Okay, so the question number one, one stop for managing all the resources, right? So I want to go to a single place where I can manage all the resources. Is it a coach mark? Is it navigator? Option C management console or option D data manager, right? So your time starts now. You have to tell me what is the one stop for managing all the resources option a option b option c or option number d which is the data manager right i hope you got the answer and the correct answer is data manager right so with the 2022.10 update we have got data manager that is the single place for managing all the resources like variables arguments uh, namespaces uh, and all the other bits right I hope you got it correct and let's move to the next question now. I have to add multiple variables and multiple arguments at the same time, right? So I have to create multiple variables. Now, how this is possible? So option number A, is it using the global variables? Option B, is it using the global assets? Option number C, it is not possible at all or I can use something which is called bulk create, right? So your time starts now. What is the provision or mechanism available with the 2022 update that allows me to create multiple variables or arguments, right? And the correct answer is bulk create, right? So bulk create is an option which is available both for arguments and variables that allows you to create multiple arguments and multiple variable in a single window, which was not possible earlier. Okay. Let's move forward to question number three now. Okay, <clears throat> once a global variable is created, what can be edited, right? So with 2022.10 update, we have got something which is called global variable. Now the question is what can be edited, right? Can you edit name, value, type or scope, right? So your timer has started, okay? And you have to tell me that a global variable is created, what can be edited? It's option A, name, B, value, C type or D scope, right? What can be edited? And the correct answer is value. Once you have created a global variable with the help of data manager, you can not update name, type and the scope. The only thing which can be edited is a value, right? So I hope you got this answer correct. And now let's move to the next question, which is question number four. 
the next question is a true or false question right so it simply says we can reference the same variables in multiple workflows so i have created two sequence sequence number one and sequence number two now i want to reference the same variable in the both the workflows or i would say multiple workflow so can i do that yes or i cannot do that no if your answer is yes you have to say true if your answer is no you have to say it false right can i reference the same variable in multiple workflows right and the answer is true yes we can reference the same variable in multiple workflow this is possible with the help of global variables and that is a feature of 2022.10 right so i hope you were aware of this let's move to the next question which is question number five okay what do we add to variables and arguments to provide the context right so i have created some variables i have created some arguments and i want to provide some additional context to them so do i add a note do i add a annotation do i add context or do i add a navigator right so whenever we create variables and argument we always has an option to provide context context is like more information what i can add to provide more context to the variables and arguments i create right and the correct answer is option number b which is annotations right whenever we create variables and arguments we always has an option to add annotation this allows us to add additional information to the variables or argument so that if there are other developers or myself when i'm coming back i understand that what was the purpose of creating this variable or argument okay let's move to the next question which is question number six global variable can be used in isolated workflow yes or no right again it's a boolean question you have to answer me is it true or is it false okay so i have created a global variables can i use it in an isolated workflow yes or no i hope you guess the answer correctly and the correct answer is false right once you have created a global variable that cannot be used in an isolated workflows right so that is a property of global variables that you cannot use them in isolated workflows right so i hope you were able to guess this correct as well and you are noting down your score i'll wait for your scores at the end okay before moving to the next question which is question number seven i quickly want to tell you that we have a dedicated video on 2022.10 updates which covers all of this which you are looking on the screen this video is available on the channel and the link to the video is available in the description for your reference okay with that let's move to the next question question number seven scope of the global variable can be set to okay i have created a global variable what are the scope i can set to right is it entire project option number b global option number c current workflow or option number d all of the above right so whenever we create variables we have something which is called scope right so what is the scope of the global variable which i as a developer can set to option a option b option c or option d which is all of the above and the correct answer is option number d all of the above for setting the scope of the global variable you have all these options right so this was the correct answer which is option number d okay let's move forward to question number eight now okay so question number say it says that define fixed values that do not change during the execution right i have to define a fixed value right which do not change during the execution how i can create that is it a global variable is it constant is it floating or is it universal okay so the agenda or the idea is to create fixed values which do not change during the automation or the execution of the project is it a b c or d and the correct answer is option number b which is called constants right with 2022.10 uipath has introduced something which is called constants that allow you to have value which do not change during the automation or the execution 
One example of constant would be the company name, right? So for example, I have built an uh, automation for a company whose name is Tutorials by Mukesh Kala. I do not want to change the company name during the any automation, right? During this complete course of execution. So I create a constant and I add this company name, right? So this is the feature which is available in 2022.10. Okay. Okay. Let's move to the next question, which is question number nine. Okay, again, it's a Boolean question which tells constants are available in Windows legacy project or not, right? Again, a Boolean question, you have to tell me if the statement which we are presenting is true or false. The statement says that constants are available in Windows legacy project, right? So can I have constant in Windows legacy project? If it is yes, you have to say true. If no, answer is false, right? And the correct answer for this question is false right you cannot have constants in windows legacy projects so i hope you got it correctly let's move to the next question which is question number 10 intelligent code completion for variable argument method etc right so intelligent code completion simply means that you write a little and the code automatically completes right intelligent code completion so you have to tell me how or which feature provides me intelligent code completion is it a expression editor is it possible with the help of coach mark option number c is it possible with the help of intelligence or option d it is not possible at all okay so you have to tell me intelligent code completion for variables arguments method etc etc is possible by which feature or which component of this new update right and the correct answer is expression editors right with this new update you would have editors available different kinds of editors which are available one such editor is expression editor which provides the feature which automatically completes the code whenever i am writing it for variables arguments or the methods okay so i hope you got this correct and let's move to the question number 11 now same like expression editor we have multiple different kinds of editor which are being introduced in this update now the question number 11 is which editors allows you to specify hours minutes seconds and milliseconds right so you have different editors is it the timer editor is it the delay editor is it the time span editor or is it the duration editor right so which of the editor allows you to specify hours minutes seconds and milliseconds right so which is the editor a b c or d and the correct answer is the duration editor now what is the duration editor this is a simple editor which will allow you to specify the hours minutes seconds and delay it will provide you a clock kind of something where you can update the properties right example is using a delay activity or postpone activity right so delay activity we have to give time right so as soon as you put that activity that activity will automatically show up an editor which is called duration editor and it will give you a nice interface to specify all these things right so the correct option is option number d which is called the duration editor next question is on builders right same like editors we have got builders also in this update right so this option asks us that i have to add entry in a collection builder so which option i am going to use is it the add entry is it an update collection is it a build collection or is it a build entry right so i have to add an entry in the collection builder right so what is the option which is available for collection builder to add a new entry is add entry update collection build the collection or build the entry and the correct answer is add the entry right so collection builder is a builder which is available in this new update that allows you to add remove and do some manipulation with the collections and option to add entry to that collection in the collection builder is with the help of add entry okay with that we are moving now to question number 13 so the next question is i have to create a collection where i want key value pairs so should i use an entry builder should i use a dictionary builder should i use a collection builder or should i use a condition builder right so you have to tell me which builder i am going to use to create a collection that stores the value in a key value pair is it a 
बी सी और ऑप्शन नंबर डी एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज अ डिक्शनरी बिल्डर राइट डिक्शनरी स्टोर द वैल्यू इन की वैल्यू पेयर राइट यू कैन थिंक दिस एज द कॉन्फिग ऑब्जेक्ट राइट विच वी सी इन द आर फ्रेमवर्क आर फ्रेमवर्क गिव्स यू अ डिक्शनरी ऑफ स्ट्रिंग एंड ऑब्जेक्ट्स राइट सो इन केस यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ कलेक्शन ऑफ की वैल्यू पेयर आई एम गोइंग टू गो विद द डिक्शनरी बिल्डर एंड दिस इज द न्यू काइंड ऑफ बिल्डर विच इज एम्बेडेड इन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू डॉट ओके सो आई होप यू गॉट दिस करेक्ट एंड विद दैट वी आर मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन ओके देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ बिल्डर्स विच आर अवेलेबल इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू डॉट टेन अपडेट नाउ दिस इज अ बिट ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन वेर आई एम आस्किंग यू विच इज नॉट अ बिल्डर राइट विच इज नॉट अ बिल्डर ओके सो कंडीशन बिल्डर फिल्टर बिल्डर कलेक्शन बिल्डर or object builder right so read the question carefully you have to tell me which is not a builder right we have a couple of builders so which is not so the correct answer is object builder right you do not have something which is called object builder in the 2022.10 update we have condition builder we have filter builder we have collection builder which we saw in the previous question so the correct answer is option number d okay next we are going to question number 15 which would be the last question for this quiz right i hope you guys would have already got your score with you and i would like you guys to let me know in the comments your feedback as well that how did you find this quiz and your overall score and any suggestions which you have for the next quiz as well right so with that we are going to the last question which is which editor would be available in delay activity right so i have an act activity which is called delay that is used to put delay would i have a delay editor would i have a time editor would i have a duration editor or would i have an expression editor in this activity right and the correct option is duration editor right because it will show us a clock right so the correct option is answer c which is duration editor right before you guys go i want to quickly show you that we have already covered all these builders and editors also in a separate detailed video right so some questions today i have asked on the editors and the builders in case you are already aware of that you are pretty much awesome and if you are not aware of the editors and builders and this new update you can watch this second video which is on editors and builders which is uploaded on the channel link to both the videos is available in the description okay okay so that was pretty much for this video thank you for staying here the only thing i would require from you is to comment down your scores your feedback and any topics which you can suggest me for the next quiz feel free to explore the other quizzes which are uploaded on the channel and in case you are new and looking for use cases to practice we have this dedicated playlist where we are covering the use cases as well okay so with that i would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation mm -hmm.